my channel. Now today I am going to be making Biscoff cookie cups, which to be honest, I'm more excited about eating them than baking them. So anyway, let's do this quickly so I can get around to trying one. This recipe is taken from Jane's Patisserie. She has an awesome blog and I love her recipes. They're so simple and so effective and yummy. So let's just get right on into the baking. Firstly, I do have a plate here of frozen Biscoff balls. These will be going in the center of the cupcakes and they have been sitting in the freezer. The minimum amount of time required is an hour. So they're on the side ready. To begin with, we are gonna mix all of our wet ingredients together. So we have one egg, 175 milliliters of milk in there. We also need 175 milliliters of oil. there and a dash of vanilla extract. Now that I've popped all those together I'm just going to whisk them up to create our wet mixture. If the egg yolk would like to break that would be fantastic. There we go. Now for the dry mix we have some self-raising flour here and we need 360 grams of this. So let's measure that out first. Wow, that is a lot of flour. I'm going to sieve this in. And now we want 240 grams of light brown soft sugar. Need to open the new packet. Right, let's tip you in. Now I'm going to combine these together using this spoon and the recipe does specify to stir as little as possible. So I'm literally just gonna fold this together so I don't over mix it. And there we go. It's now time to add in 100 grams of chocolate chips. I have chosen to use milk chocolate chips today so just gonna tip them all in there and then fold them in too and there we have our chocolate chip muffin mixture so time to get to the baking tray and this does make 12 muffins or cupcakes unfortunately i only have white muffin cases I would have loved to have done these in tulip ones, but never mind. It is about the way they taste, not how they look. There we are. Now, time to do some scooping. I'm just gonna use a little teaspoon and my fingers for this. Let's scoop this mixture in. So you want to use about three quarters of the mixture for the bottom of the muffins and then the rest is going to go on top of the blob of biscoff we have over here. I've decided not to measure this out today. Hopefully I won't regret that. <laughs> right, we have our base of mixture here. So now it's time to get my little blobs of this off and pop them on each cupcake. Oh, just getting wafts of this off and it smells incredible. Whoops. Right, now time to give them all a lid. If these rise a lot, they are going to be huge literally enormous and I'm just kind of passing them down a little bit to try and ensure that the biscoff is completely encased in muffin mixture. Right, done. 
Yum. Here we have our completed tray. They're looking good. I hope they taste as good as the butter implies. Right, time to put them in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. So I'm gonna go for 25 minutes because my oven seems to cook things hotter than what recipes anticipate. So 160 degrees fan oven for 25 minutes. Let's see what happens. Now I've got to deal with all of this. finally to try the Biscoff cupcakes so obviously I need someone else to test taste test for me you think I'm gonna give an honest opinion what do you mean well I'm gonna say they're good if they're good <laughs> and if they're bad I'm gonna say they're good because I don't want to slap <laughs> right take your pick which one are you going for that one the, the big one well, just, just lots of chocolatey bits on there this one <laughs> oh, oh. No. Focus? Yeah, there you go. It's focused. <laughs> They're very yummy. They are good. The biscuit stuck to the roof of my mouth now. I'm like. Yeah, it's like try to weld your jaw shut. This is absolutely delicious. Look at the gooey biscuit there. They're brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I like them. So anyway, these are so yum. Please go and make them. It will be worth it. If you like this video, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.